All right, we're back on the Rowdy 6 liter Corvette project. We got the exhaust buttoned up in the last video and we are going to attempt to start this bad boy. Got a couple things to take care of. Got to finish filling the radiator or as much as you can without having it run. We have got to check our fuel pressure by priming the darn thing. And then of course we got to do the setup on the Holly Terminator X, which should just take a couple seconds and we will go through that together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is hit this ignition switch, which activates the ECU, turns on our little screen. So from here, we gotta enter some of our data. All right, so first we're gonna get it to do the little auto-tune thingy, configure it to our vehicle, do wizard, the general configuration, we're going to pick multi-port injection, fuel injection. All right, then we're going to pick GMLS, that's us. And that'll have us pick the number of cylinders next, if it moves on. Okay, and that's eight. Not very hard there. Okay, and then the firing order, the only correct one, 1872-6543. Okay, now we get to pick between cubic inches and liters. All right, obviously we're doing cubic inches here because we're American. And then we have uh, 1776 cubic inches. That would be cool. Unfortunately, in reality, we have... This is not very good for people with enormous fingers like myself okay in reality we only have 364 but that'll do for now all right next we're going target idle of eight oh hold on eight five oh 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 come on 850 sadly we we have a not Choppity chop cam, so we're below 235. Our ignition type, we're going old school 24. We don't got none of that 58 junk. All the PSI on the fuel pressure. This one might get a little tricky. This is your injectors. You enter, obviously, whatever you got. For now, I've got the OEMs, but I'm not sure which ones these have. So you're going to have to let me do a quick internet search and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found the correct one here. Pretty positive that's it. Power enter type. We've got, how do you click all of them? Just kidding, we have none for now. All right, I don't know why I did this, but for some reason the camera cut out the last clip. All I did there was pick the map sensor. I just have a Holly one bar, so nothing special there if you do pick a power adder like turbo or supercharger it'll ask you a couple more questions that you'll need to follow through on like uh, ignition timing changes after zero psi all kinds of fun stuff to keep you from blowing up we don't have to worry about that quite yet as this is just a born old stock corvette so now that that's all cycled through the ecu should cycle the fuel pump so we can go set the fuel pressure all right, I'm gonna start by turning this guy down pretty far, just in case for some reason it's set at 4,000 PSI. We won't blow our rubber fuel lines to the planet Jupiter. All right, we got it turned down. Let's pop the ignition switch and see what it's at. Oh, kind of a stretch. And we got a leak. Of course. Cranked her about 30 before it started leaking everywhere. So let's fix that real quick. All right, it's another day. We are back. Had to wait on this part to come in. This 90, that's what was leaking. I guess I just got a bad one. It was leaking at the seal right here, and maybe I just don't know how to put them together. That might be it. All right, so I got my jam nut loose here. Got my Allen key and my wrench. Fires a pump, and that brought us to just below 60. 
So we're pretty darn close. So we give this just a tiny crank to tighten it up. Check her one more time. Check the pump. And we're pretty much right at 60 there. So let's crank down this nut, fire it up. All right, I got you guys situated in the best position I could. Let's give her some power, see what happens. So she runs and theoretically drives. She's got a couple little leaks I got to take care of before I put her on the road, but, but wow, she's a little louder than I thought. I might have to get a little bit nicer of a muffler there, but that's all right. It's not like I made some wonderful welds that I'll just have to cut right back out on the back there. Oh, well, but yeah, if you're interested in the build, Feel free to subscribe. Next video will most likely be driving this son of a gun. So stick around. More exciting things to come. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.